So today we are reading from Sri Sri Vilapakushumanjali, verse 96. Yes, Sorry, Radhe Radhe. Can I Italian room, please, for translation? Thank you. Come back. Uh, Ramdas, can you just uh, say the verse again? Which verse? Yes. We are reading from Sri Sri Vilap verse ninety six. <clears throat> Tavai Vasmi, Tavai Vasmi, Najivami Tvayavina, <clears throat> Iti Vigyaye Devitvam, Nayamam Charanantikam. Translation I am yours. I am yours. I cannot live without you. Oh, Devi. Oh, Devi. Knowing this, please take me to your lotus feet. Notes. In the verses of Vilap Kushumanjali, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami perceives his own Siddhasvarupa of Tulasi Manjari. Mm. And, and is simultaneously blessed with transcendental devotional service in Radha and Madhava's pastimes. When these visions vanish, he greatly laments and prays to Swamini's lotus feet for the attainment of these services. In the final nine verses that follow, he offers prayers to Swamini's lotus feet in Svarupavish, to Sri Radha Kunda, to the lotus feet of Sri Govinda, and to Sri Vishaka Saki for the fulfillment of his desires. In this verse, Virahi Raghunath takes complete shelter of Swamini's lotus feet in order to attain them directly. Sharanagati means taking shelter or surrendering oneself. This is the starting point of sadhana bhakti. Without this, one cannot perform any bhajan.
the more one surrenders, the more one advances. And the more one advances, the more one's heart is filled with feelings of surrender. <clears throat> surrender is the practice and the goal of the devotees. And it is their very life force. It is their perpetual duty. Only through surrender one can attain Krema Bhakti and the lotus feet of the Lord. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami revealed the highest stage of surrender, which means Tadaika Jivana. My, my whole life is His. This Tulasi is yours, yours. Without you, I won't survive. This is the limit of surrender. This anxious self-surrender, Radha's maid servants, filled with feelings, of minus cannot be found in the servanthood for the Supreme Lord. This Tulasi is yours. This ever so sweet Mahavani is filled with the experience of bhajanaras. The lives of the Madhurya Rasa devotees are blessed when they hear and chant these great words. How sweetly Tulasi surrenders here, filled with feelings of mindness. This Tulasi is yours. She cannot live without you. Just as the bees become attracted to the opening lotus flowers at dawn, similarly, the mind of the practicing devotee will be attracted to Sri Radhika's lotus feet after hearing these fragrant, honey-like words. Tulasi offers lotus flowers that are sprinkled with the spiritual flavor of love at Srimati's lotus feet. Piriti rasete dhali tanumana diachi tu haripaya tu mimora pati tu mimora gati grana ana nahi chaya. I have given my body and mind soaked in the juice of love to your lotus feet. You are my master and you are my goal. <coughs> my heart wants no one but you. How much 
the eternally perfect maid servants suffer when they are feeling separation from Sri Radha in Sadaka Vesha. They cannot live for a moment without her. They do bhajan themselves and simultaneously attract the eyes of all the practicing devotees of the world with their painful eagerness to do bhajan. Through their own activities, they have shown how to awaken a feeling of want by doing bhajan. Such a relish I don't get in my life. Bhajan makes me happy. Therefore, I'm doing bhajan. But even in dreams, I do not miss Sri Radha. How eager Sri Raghunath is. With mind and heart, I am telling you, I am yours. Touching your feet, I swear you that I am yours. I cannot live without you. And now, deprived of your service, I have fallen on the bank of Radhakunda. I tell you honestly, I cannot live anymore. Sri Raghunath can no longer tolerate the pangs of separation from Swamini. The poison of love in separation reaches his throat. His body, mind, and life airs are burning in the fire of separation. The Goswamis are the embodiment of love in separation. And Srila Raguna Das Goswami is the best example. Raguna Das Goswami is indescribable. His heart always burns in the fire of separation, day and night. This great priest of the Raga Anuga sacrifice weeps with tear-filled eyes on the bank of Radha Kunda, without eating, without sleeping, torn apart by the pangs of great love and separation. His heart, so anxious to attain Sri Radha's intimate service. Forgetting everything else, he simply desires the eligibility to serve Sri Radha's lotus feet. Nothing else. How much hope he carries in his heart while taking full shelter of Priyaji's dear most place, the bank of Radha Kunda. How many days, how many months, how many years passed? Still, he did not attain the audience and the service of his Praneshwari. What is the use of still keeping this life heirs 
that are burning in the forest fire of separation within the physical frame. Najivami Tvayavina. I cannot live without you. Srila Raghunathas Goswami was completely showered with the loving compassion of Sri Gora Sundara, the embodiment of the flavor, love of God in separation. And for a long time, he was one of the Lord's most intimate associates in his Gambira pastimes. as well as a personal witness of these unique pastimes of ecstatic love of God. Advanced loving devotees can understand from this Gandhira Lila how sweet the Lord is. How dear he is to the heart and how powerful is the attractiveness of his love. How many anxious endeavors the devotees make to see him and how full of sweet nectar in that silent and motionless swoon of ecstatic love in the end. Even now, the loving devotees become unsteady when they are rocked by the high waves of the naturally severe ras of love in separation. as they remember this, all, this silence in the Gambira cell. <coughs> the following pitiful so sound is always entering their ears, breaking the deep silence in the Gambira like the dim chirping of a cricket. Kaha koro, kaha pao, fragendra nandana, kaha mora prananat, mura livadan, kaha reko hibo keva jane mora dukha, fragendra nandana vina, pate mora buka. Where shall I go? What shall I do? to get Vrajendra Nandana. Where is the flute playing Lord of my life? Whom shall I tell? Who will know my distress? Without Vrajendra Nandana, my heart breaks. <laughs> Raghunath Das is always immersed in this vast ocean of love in separation because he stayed with the Lord for so long in his pastimes in Puri, sticking to him like his shadow. And the Lord has mercifully infused some of his great loving anxiety in him. In great anguish, Srila Raghunath prays to Swamini Lotus Feet, how much longer can I live? cast away from your lotus feet. 
in this life, I have never offered myself to anyone else lotus feet. Understanding this, please quickly take this fallen maid servant to your lotus feet now. Hearing Raghunath Das's anxious cries, all the creatures in and around Radhakund are crying with pity. Srila Raghunath Das has given up eating and sleeping and is crying constantly, his heart burning in the fire of separation. Although he has almost fainted, his lips can still tremble and say, Najivami Tvayavina, I cannot live without you. Srila Rasika Chandra Das sings jiva ne marane niti tu mi se amaragati ami ye tu mari ami tu mari tu ma vina e jivana bujilam akarana bhara matra boi sadapiri you are my goal in life or in death. I am yours. I am yours. I understand that my life is useless without you. I simply wander around carrying this life as the heavy burden. Oh Goddess, now that you know this, please accept this maid servant. Grant me a place at your lotus feet. Alas, when will the pleasant shade of your lotus feet console the afflicted heart of this maid servant? Hmm. End of the commentary. Well, I can read the verse again. Hmm. Shall I read the verse again? Shall I read the verse? Tavai Vasmi, Tavai Vasmi, Najivami Tvayavina, Iti Vigya Yedevitvam. Nayamam Charanantikam. I am yours. I am yours. I cannot live without you. Oh Devi, knowing this, please take me to your lotus feet. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya シリバサディ、ゴーダマクタピン、ゴーダマクタピン。アレクリシナ、アレクリシナ、アレクリシナ、アレクリシナ、アレクリシナ、アレクリシナ、アレクリシナ、アレクリシナ、アレクリシナ
This verse is very deep. Without mercy, it is very difficult to understand. So, this must describe highest stage of the prema, uh, which Sadaka could attain the situation. So here, Shri Pada Ragnata Das Goswami, sometimes he's feeling Siddha Swarupa, means he's seeing uh, the past time, Radha Moha. Sometimes is acting as Torashi Manjari in Nikunja leader. And sometimes he come back from meditation and uh, he understand, oh, I am in this sadhaka deha, in this material body. So if we see our beloved Ishtadeva, Radha Mohan, if we see loving talk, loving exchange, and loving touch, you know, their Adara Murita, and then suddenly we could come back in this Sadaka Deha consciousness. At that time, what happened to us? So if we have very precious some kind of jewel, or if we have very dear husband, wife, immediately disappear. We lost this precious, precious things. Then what will happen to us? We are crying. We are regretting, we are anxious for it, longing for it. That is material platform. But Lagnat does what he's doing in spiritual platform. So we cannot imagine unless someone who is fully surrender, some, someone who is fully getting the mercy of the Lord or mercy of the Guru Dev, it is difficult to understand that feeling. Many years ago, maybe 30 years ago, maybe 25 years ago, we are practicing Raganuga Bhajan. We are very beginner at that time. 
So, should I go to the Maharajimas? Telling us. We are opening crying school. At first, we don't understand crying school. You know, sometimes devotees thinking spiritual life is always in bliss, always in feel happiness. But the Gauragame Swami said, no, we are opening crying school. Crying. No, no, no the second wow. word. School, yeah. school. School. Okay. School. Uh, yeah, yeah, I understand. So, because this separation, love in separation, and love means two types. One is union meeting, this Samboga. Another, another one is separation. It is called Bipralamba. Sometimes say Bipralamba Baba. So we are, if we love each other, we stay together, we feel happiness. But sometimes we thinking about another thing. Maybe thinking about another lady, another man, or another material items. But if lava and beloved separated, then if really love, always thinking about that beloved. At that time, they feel so much separation. Therefore, he or she must cry for this. One day, someone, someone's wife died. That wife's name is Kishori. And that person who lost his wife, and he came to Brindava. And he is always crying, oh, Kishori, oh, Kishori, oh, Kishori. Like Madhuma. And then he was walking all around Brindava. <coughs> and he happened to reach near Sebakunji. And Shurimati Radhika was hearing, is someone calling me? Someone calling, oh, Kishori, Kishori, Kishori. Oh, Saki, please go, find out. Who is he, who is she? And Larita or some other Saki went and checked it out. They find out, oh, he, this one person who lost wife named Kishori is so crying. And he's calling his wife, not, not you, not for you. And Radhika said, no, in Brindaman, Kishore, Kishore is my name. Whatever, whoever called Kishore is, it's, it's meant for me. So I want to give 
him, my master, please bring to me. And that person get darshan and get some mercy. So this feeling separation It's outside, but internally so connected. So we may meet externally together, but internally we are not sure it is connected or not. But if we separate and someone is crying for this, so much longing for this. And then that's so much desire, that greed bring us to that desire object. That is Daganuga Bhajan. Mm. So Raghunata Das Goswami. Prayojana Acharya, he is showing us how to do bhajan. Love in separation, in Vibhraramba Bhava. How he could run, this is mentioned, Baba is mentioned, because Mahaprabhu's leader, if we see Mahaprabhu leader, first six years, oh, sorry, uh, Mahaprabhu did leader 48 years past time. First 24 years, he was Grihastha Ashram. And after took sanyas, he moved into Jagannatha Puri, Nirachara. First six years, means at the age of around 30, he traveled India, from South India to Varanasi and Vrindavan, north part of India. He did uh, so much Sankirtan and uh, he saved many, many devotees. He gave so much mercy, Namo Maha Badanaya. <coughs> and then, after this six years Lira, it's called Madhya Lira. First 24 years Lira is Adi Lira. And later, later part of Mahaprabhu pastime, it is called Antyarira. Especially late 12 years, Mahaprabhu was always staying in Gambira. And Gambira is like kind of small, very small room. And that room is so small. And Mahaprabhu always staying there. And there, Maha, at that time, Mahaprabhu had limited associates, like uh, Swarupa Damodara Goswami, Ramananda Raya, also. So Govinda, Govinda Mahaprabhu's good brother was always, always uh, serving him. <clears throat> Night time, Govinda locks the door. Why locks the door? Because Mahaprabhu was so intense. Intense 
intensely feel separation for Krishna. Because Mahaprabhu is Radhika's mood. Always looking for Krishna. Where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? And he could not tolerate that feeling. Sometimes he's like kind of in, on the way, like he hits the head. Sometimes like, you know, blood is coming. Sometimes he like, you know, scratch, scratch because so much feeling separation. <laughs> And sometimes Mahaprabhu disappear in this, even though all locked it. Mm. But somehow or other he disappear. And then Govinda was so much worried, you know. Because uh, sometimes like ah, you know, oh. it's hitting head, sometimes scratching, you know, sometimes trembling, sometimes like you know, rolling down, you know. Like crazy. But immediately stopping, very quiet. Govinda was anxious. What happened, Mahaprabhu? Open the door. And Mahaprabhu was not, he, not there. Disappear. And then, Mahap, then Govinda said to devotee, hey, Mahaprabhu is disappear. Let us looking for him. So devoted looking after Mahaprabhu. Sometimes devotee find out on the beach. Sometimes devotee find out Sinhadwara's gate. Sometimes on the Goshara, you know, many places they are looking for it. At that time, Mahaprabhu body is completely amazing. Sometimes, you know, this joint, like a 20 centimeter, 30 centimeter, like apart, apart just to skin, like, like this, you know. Mm -hmm. And sometimes his anger, hand and leg is like into the inside his body, like a tortoise. Turtle. Sorry. Ah. So, sorry. Okay. Turtle. Yeah. You know. So, like, no, we could not see hand and legs, you know. And the boat is completely amazing, you know. And his like eyes, like completely seeing outside, like uh, saliva is oh, forming. Oh. Yeah, forming. Some devotee was taking that for me. Mm. Why is that? Because in this body, Mahaprabhu tasting Radha's Prema. Mm. Madanakya Mahababa. So body could not tolerate. Mm. So Raghunath does what's Everything he is seeing this. What is the Radha's mood? And also, Raghunatha Das was very intimate associate with Swarupa Dhamma. He could ask many questions. What is Mahaprabhu's situation? What kind of Baba he has? So Swarupa Damodara, he reviewed very intimate thing to Raghunath Das Goswami. So Raghunath Das Goswami, at that time, he learned Gopi Baba from Swarupa Damodara Goswami. And Goranga Mahaprabhu. <clears throat> but at that time he could not 
Atene. Unna tu juara rasa. Babo rasa hiku do not. Get the end. So, Mahaprabhu, at the age of 48, Mahaprabhu finished this Prakatarira, this pastime in this earth, and he entered Nittarira, a Prakatarira. And you can imagine. Mahata was there. <coughs> and then suddenly he disappeared. And then soon Swarpadamala also disappeared. And Laguna Das Goswami could not kind of he felt so much separation. So Mahaprabhu, no, Raghunathas Goswami felt so much separation from Mahaprabhu and also Swarpa Damodara. And also Gadadara Pandit also he left. Very intimate associates. Some is gone. Go back to Godhead. So he felt so much separation and he commit suicide from jumping Govarda here. He was thinking. Yeah, thinking. He was thinking. Maybe I should commit suicide. So Guru Dev is revealing us. <clears throat> this is external reason. Guru Dev is telling us. He, Laguna Das, still he could not get Swarupa City. Not yet. So he's wondering, who am I? What to do? Because Mahaprabhu gone. So, and some ideas coming out. Okay, I, I should, okay, I commit suicide from jumping Govarda. But before that, I should meet Rupa Sanata. <coughs> so I don't know when Laguna does met Rupa Laguna. It's I'm not sure. We are not sure. But uh, at that time, Laguna does met. Sanatana Goswami, Rupa Goswami. And Sanatana Goswami was telling him, because Sanatana Goswami could understand his feeling, because so much separation, he wants to commit suicide from jumping over. And Sanatana said, I have same experience like you. I met Mahaprabhu. At that time, I was walking, walking without drinking any you know, water, sometimes, or, or maybe some drink, 
but no no food. But so much that eating, drinking, and then he his body was so much boiled. He must fancy so much. Exceeds. Ex- Exceeds. Hmm? Pass on Pass and some some water is oozing, oozing, oozing. Yeah. oozing. Mm-hmm. But Mahapa was embracing him like anything. Because Mahapa was seeing only Swarupa Besh. He, he did not care external Sadaka Besh body. But Sanata was thinking, oh, I'm this, this body. Oh, Mahaprabhu touching my body, which is so much oozing. Oh, this is great offensive. <laughs> then Mahaprabhu tell to Sanatana Goswami, if you commit, if you can get Krishna, if you get commit suicide, and you can get Krishna, then I can give up my body many times. But it is not process by committing suicide, you cannot get Krishna. You should to know your Swarupa. So then Mahaprabhu give him Sambanda Gyana. So what is the relationship with the Lord? This is uh, described uh, Sanatana Shiksha in Chaitanya Charitamrita. At first he said, Keami. Who am I? And in Chaitanya Charitamrita it is mentioned. Jivera Swarupa Hai Krishna Nityadas. We are our real identities. Krishna's eternal servant. But Mahaprabhu gave us. It's not mentioned in, in this book. Mahaprabhu give him dear Sambandhya. This is dear Sambandhya. Is we are sorry is not enough. Our soul is what kind of body we have. Our our spiritual body is what kind of relationship we have with Radha and Mohan. What kind of seva they are doing? What color their body? What clothes there? So we have to know their their identity. And then Rupa Goswami, who is Rupa Manjari, give him how to practice devotional service. This is Abhideya. So, Sanatana Goswami is Rabanga Manjari in Swarupa Besh. Rupa Goswami is Rupa Goswami in Swarupa Besh. Oh, sorry, Rupa Manjari. So, by their association, by Manjari association, he could understand. He is Trashi Manjari or Lati Manjari. And also how to practice 
in this sadaka besha, this material body. So this verse mentioned, so feeling so much separation from Swamini. So Raghunatha is saying, oh, I'm yours. We are belong to you. Therefore, please must put upon me. Please must put upon me. If we are spiritual body, we may not say, I'm yours. So much love, they may say, you are mine. But uh, he feels, he, Ragnar does feel so much separation, so much feeling. Therefore, I am yours. Don't kick me out. Without you, I cannot live anymore. Without you, I, my life is useless. Please give me mercy. Please give me mercy. Please give me mercy. That strong mood of Baba, this Vipranam Baba, bring us to at the lotus feet of our Swami. So this is Raga Bhajan, Raga Nuga Bhajan. Raga means feeling. According to Baba, next life is a certain. So therefore, should another man say, we have to be, we have to have greed. We have to be, greed means strong feeling. We want this. If we cannot get anyway, I I I will take it. <laughs> Back, borrow, steal, anyway, I'll take it. That is desire we need it. With that desire, with that feeling, we cannot get at the lotus feet of Swami. That this bus is teaching us. It's very interesting. So without surrendering, without surrendering, we cannot do any bhajan. We cannot perform any bhajan. Sometimes we are thinking, we are, de we are doing bhajan as much as possible. But the problem is we are surrendering, are we, are we surrendering? Do, do we have agasura? <coughs> do we have ego? Ahankara? This is very interesting. <laughs> The more one surrenders, the more one advances. The more one advanced, the more one's heart is filled with feeling of surrender. 
Surrender is a practice and goal of the devotees. It is their very life force. And the symptom of surrendering the person, the symptom, and meek and humble. So if we are not humble, we are not meek, then we are not surrendering. So we cannot advance this mention. Only through surrender, one can attain Prema Bhakti. And the, the lotus feet of the Lord. For us, Swami. The surrendering to whom? Of course, Swamini. But before surrendering Swamini, we have to surrender the representative of Swamini. That is our Guru Dev, our Guru Manjari. That person become like Torashi. I'm yours. Without you, without Swamini, I won't survive. I cannot survive. This is the limit of surrender. This is ever so sweet Mahabani. It's filled with the experience of Bhajan Rasta. Yeah. The, live, the lives of the Madhura Rasa devotees are blessed when they hear and chant these great ones. Hmm. So this morning, Lama Das Baba was talking. After hearing this bus, he's reading this bus. Lama Das Baba is from completely get inspiration. He's chanting this mantra. Then after chanting this mantra, Rashka Vaishnava appears. That is Shurira Sadhu Maharaj. Kijai. Kijai. <laughs> <laughs> and then he could start Raganuga Bhajan. Right? Yes. So this verse is so very important and very deep. I cannot explain. So maybe as a as a Rashka Vaishnava, please help us. First of all, thank you very much, Jaina Maharaj, for your uh, sweet commentary. My experience with this shloka from the beginning <clears throat> is actually very simple. Of course, it cannot work like this, maybe for all, maybe for some. But for me, it was like the search for a spiritual mother. And in this shloka, I saw the word Devi. So he's, Jayananda Maharaj is uh, explaining, it takes a full 
the surrender and the more one the more one surrenders the more one advances on the path of raga bhakti and uh, while he was telling this and saying i cannot live without you i was thinking about who can feel like that that i cannot live without you a baby a baby with the mother cannot live without the mother he doesn't have to do anything artificial the baby without the mother if he wakes up there is very good chances he will cry and look for the mother he calls the mother he needs the mother because he knows without the mother he will die or she he or she doesn't matter the baby cannot live without the mother so this for me it has become of course a few years after the practice i was feeling like a baby i was singing this shloka and i was feeling separation what means separation i don't know what i'm doing here in this world i don't know what to do i have no place to go no job no special expertise no money what can i do i will die so with this situation one can feel very unfortunate when i look back this is was this was my great fortune because i could experience some separation i could experience a need for radharani to take care of me please take care of me support me you know i used to sing a uh a shloka for uh, krishna and ramachandra rama raghava rama raghava rama raghava rakshama krishna keshava krishna keshava krishna krishava vahimam so even though i was in such a critical situation in life i never was hungry somehow i found a place to eat something to eat and somehow i found a place to stay so maybe ramachandra maybe krishna i don't know but personally i was looking for a, a, a female figure like a mother and i was reading in the previous verse this afternoon that only very affectionately with the manjaris as if they were uh, her little girls but also the sakis the sakis are very affectionate with the uh, manjaris and they deal with them if they were their own uh, little uh, children i'm talking about very young manjaris you know <coughs> so for example in this uh, shloka in the previous shloka it is described how uh, radharani is always called uh, dhiramati that means she is always very peaceful she doesn't become angry but in, in this case she became very angry for a small detail uh, lalita had seen uh, tulasi manjari who brought back the sash of bells uh, so important for radharani to dance among the sakis and lalita saw this and she made fun of uh, she made fun of radharani so radharani became angry and she went back to the nikunja and she said to uh, uh, to lasi manjari she said why did you let lalita see you everybody is making fun everybody is laughing about me now get out of the kunja so this is uh, another important item uh, i don't know about others 
I felt very much uh, the, the, the feeling of rejection was very much present in my life for different situation and uh, you know from the beginning so for me it is very easy to feel rejected and this rejection is is exactly what uh, Tulasi Manjari is feeling when she goes outside the kunja she sits down by the wall, on the wall of the kunja and she feels rejected and in this rejection she says what am i going to do now well, who is going to take care of me i'm not independent i depend completely on radha so what am i going to do and then she says uh, Najivami Tvayamina, I cannot live without you. Iti Vigya Yedevi Tvam. Try to understand, she said to Ra in the shloka. Try to understand this. I cannot live without you. I cannot survive. This is the baby crying. Sometimes the baby don't, don't have any problems, you know. They just cry because they want the mother to come. I'm sure who, who has children has experienced this. My son was not just crying, was screaming. You know, you had to go there to make him stop. Otherwise, there was no peace for everyone, for anyone. So, so she says, please understand, I cannot live without you. Charanantikam, uh, put me and keep me by your lotus feet. So this is and this is the feeling of surrender and the prayer that comes uh, to the sadaka in sadaka avish my prayer is please do something good with me you know if i am your instrument like uh, jayananda maharaj says is there any agasura is there any ahankara false ego so Please do something good with me. Engage me in something good. This is the prayer for me. It may work for somebody else. That would give me so much pleasure if I said something useful. And uh, thank you, Maharaj, you let me speak. I love you, you know that. <laughs> I love you also. I love you. I want to hear from you. I yes, that's Wow. Wow, so many words were spoken now. Very much inspiring. And uh, now we have to start with our homework to mean to put that into practice because that is actually what's all about and uh, when i remember my life personally i had a very, very adventuring life and i had some some closed up death experience in my life and i always feel i came through like this that was because from the beginning of my life, Radharani was with me. From the beginning of this life, Radharani was with me and she was protecting me. And I can feel it always more and more and more. But it was one-sided. It was one-sided from her side because con unconditional love means he, she's always with us. But when we respond to her call, when we respond to her uh, presence, because actually we are sitting in the lap of her, but we are looking on this side. So we don't, she's sitting behind us and we're looking at this side. So when we turn around and then first we faint because she's so, so beautiful and so wonderful. But then comes that moment of reprox. We, we, we respond to her beauty, to her love, to her unconditional love. And then it's not raga, then it's anurag. That means anurag, both sided. And then also it is not stagnant anymore. It is always fresh, always new. Every moment it's new. When you start to 
to go to the Mangala Atik, for example, and to chant, every Mangala Atik is new, every Bachan is new, everything becomes new, it's never the same. And that is, for me, the presence, that you feel the presence of her. It's like a child is lost in the marketplace and it's running around and there's father and there's a mother also, but they are doing some, they went for shopping and the child is there in between all the legs and it sees and it cries out, mommy, mommy, please, please. Where are you? I'm lost. I'm totally, I'm in a, in a confusion, in a ball of confusion. I'm running around. And suddenly only you feel the hands touching you from your mother. Immediately you feel relief. Immediately. And this touch is coming through the mantra, through the Maha Mantra, because she's present in the Maha Mantra. And she's giving up this touch through the chanting. This is actually what I feel. This means mantra chanting. When you really feel what you are chanting, the words you are chanting is right there in front. It's right present. It's revealing itself in front of you. This is the real Bhajana Kriya. What I feel personally is that is the real Bhajana Kriya. That is when that comes to happen, when there is no difference anymore between the word or between the name and the name, then it is like it is said in there is one verse and that is Chaitanya. Chaitanya comes in this verse and it's translated as loving ecstasy. And Binadva Namo Namino is the last sentence of this word, and it says, the name is not different from the name. Then, this is the mercy actually of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu is coming to this world to give up this wonderful gift. And that's why Sula Prabhupada, he called the first place where that was open in the Western world to please, to, 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 yeah, to give this to others, it's called matchless gift. Because it is matchless and it's a gift. There's no comparison anymore, anymore, any for something more greater than this. That's why it's called matchless gift. And this matchless gift is our ultimate goal. This is First, we may think our object is God. At the beginning, when you start walking in spiritual life, and then when you assign with him, when you really assign with him, then he turns and it says, it's not anymore that love is the way and God is the goal. It is said, love is the way and love is the goal. That is for me, that presence of Radha. And this is like the last conclusion. That was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's teaching. And that means simultaneously, simultaneously one and different. And this is inconceivable. And simultaneously one. So what is one? We are one. Tat tat bath ekjatmika means oneness in feeling. That is our oneness. This is our oneness. And this is Radha's presence in this. Because we are one with Radha. And at the same time, we are different. So this is the meaning for my personal feeling that came that revealed in my heart like this, and it says, it's one, you are one with Radha and at the same time different. So this is Achindya Veda Veda Tattva, Radhe Radhe, and this is Unata Ujjwala Rasa, Radhe, Jai. the highest of the highest. Jai.
<laughs> Thank you, everyone, for sharing so beautiful your great realizations of the mercy of Raghuna Das Goswami and the realizations that he had in Radha Kund, crying for the last mercy for Saksha Darshan, direct meeting with Srimati Radhika. And thank you, Jainanda Maharaj, nicely you were explaining how Mahaprabhu was revealing this Riplam above feelings of separation and how he was helping the devotees to go deeper and deeper in their bhajan. But still we could see that only by mercy of Rupa Manjari, of Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Das could get the final realization of his relationship to Srimati Radhika as a Mitsa. So, very touching also Ram Das Baba and uh, Raghunath Das, how to, you know, how we are in our lives also guided by our Gurudevs, by our, our Achayas and by especially Rasika Vaishnava Association to come to this feelings of mindness. Oh, Srimati Radhika, I am yours. Please take me in your service by the mercy of my Guru Dev, my Guru Manjari. And I want to I want to know and feel that you are mine also when I have realized my Swarup my spiritual form by the mercy of Guru Manjari, of Guru Dev, who is sent by Srimati Radhika in my life. And by the strong eagerness and this feeling of separation, however it may come in our individual lives, then Srimati Radhika personally will take care to serve us with the association of Rasika Vaishnavas, who can then reveal what is the real feelings of Srimati Radhika, how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was giving us this because he's Radha and Krishna. And even more, he comes with the feelings of Radha that Krishna wants to experience. And from this point on, we really can dive deeply into Raga Nuga, but also especially Rupa Nuga Bhajan. Yeah. So thank you. And Gurdiv, please also share some words. I know and I feel how eager the devotees are. Yeah. Gurdiv, I'm confused again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Seems my natural position is to be confused. <laughs> yeah, I'll change the message. Go. Yeah. Radhe Radhe. So, uh, it was a beautiful um, sharing, and thank you so much for Randas Baba to choose this verse, verse 96. That's the hit. That's really our verse. And as uh, Jananda Ji explained in a very beautiful way, the deep meaning of this verse, and he brought us from Vrindavan to Navadvip to Nilanchal, back to Braj, making us clear what precious gift Mahaprabhu gave. And also when um, Ramdas Baba was sharing that the verse before, verse 95, it's when Tulsi gets chastised, and I think it's the only word in Vilakusu Manjari, where Radharan is chastising her Manjari. And that shows, of course, the intense, intense, intense relationship, the intimate relationship Radharani has with the Manjaris and vice versa. And um, but 
confusion came, Guru Dev. Maybe you can help me. Help. Devasmi, Devasmi, Najivamit Vaibina. I'm yours. I'm yours. I can't live without you. But I always felt you're mine. You're mine. And you cannot live without me, maybe. So who's who's right now, Guru Dev? Like this or rather Rani can't live without us. Actually, one is in Sadat there and one is in Siddha there. In Sadak Neha, when there is a bhajan kriya and rasika association, then this desire comes more to grow, more to grow, more to grow. And we feel that we are rejected because of my mistakes. We are rejected. We are still outside city in our false ego and senses and body. So we are rejected by her, by my mistake. So we say, you are my, you are my, because I cannot live without you. I realize it, that it's very difficult to me to survive without you. I know you can survive because you have many. Many serve servants, service, who do service to you. <clears throat> but for me, you are only one. How I can live? I see our, all elders teaching me like that. And everybody seems to be surrendered to you. I don't know even surrender. I surrender to my material consciousness. Now you took me out from that. I try, but it's not possible to me. But I know that I cannot live without you. How is pray for that? That you will make me yours. I try, but I cannot do it. I am trying and trying, but I cannot. Try, uh, capacity to come out from that, but I want to be a close servant. I want to serve. Without your mercy, it cannot pass. And Maharaj said, without Sarnagati, realizations not come. It's a beautiful. When this desire comes in the light, where there is a will, there is a way. Then see, first we want to hold like a monkey baby, that I have a cat capacity to jump and hold the tree and be live with, live with mother or live with material mother and have many fruits in the tree to eat. But I not try to be a cat baby. It's total surrender. What happened to the cat baby? Where the mother goes, put it in his mouth and bring where she goes first. Then she changed the place. 
So we want to want to change our face from material consciousness to spiritual. Only you can help us to to remove from there. Is to too powerful is always holding. When I leave A, B come. When I leave B, C come. One by one, one coming, but is all Agnasu is coming. Demoniac power is coming from different, different directions. I don't know how to come out. <laughs> so this is the prayer that I can be Darcy. I can be close to you. And when I close, then I do not say that I am yours. You are mine. You are mine. You are mine. So when the time will come that you will accept me, and I can say you are mine. You are mine. You are mine. Just one feeling came when uh, Brother Rani says to Tulsi Manjuri, like, why didn't you, uh, why didn't you brought the sashbas back from the cave and go over them? Why didn't you put it so discreetly that nobody see, could see it, but Lalita saw it? Why did you do that, Tulsi? You were not careful. And I felt it's not a chastisement. It's like Brother Rani saying to Tulsi, I need you so much in this service because you are protecting me that nobody can find out my amorous place with my sham sunder and so please Tulsi help me always help me and just to understand that actually Radharani she needs Tulsi so much like so much in this service so I felt like it, this chastisement was also Radharani Telling Tulsi, please Tulsi, be always with me and always be expert in your service so that I can relish my love play with my Mohan. Jai Ho. Yeah, right, right. This is the Kripa of Radhika. She is giving. And not only angry, she is giving more intelligence. <laughs> and more sharpness. This is the Kripa. Kripa comes like this. It's a mercy. Both cannot live without each other. Deep, deep anurag is there. Not one side rag. <laughs> and rag is there. Yeah. When rag means one sided, mm. both cannot live without each other. But we are so shy. We think that it is not suitable to me why he do this. But it's anurag that has happened. You cannot do anything where is no rag. Is rag is one sided, maybe my side, but both sides will happen. Something sour will come, and that is anura. <laughs> sour is a more increasing love. <laughs> <laughs> Lovers see everything in positive way. There is nothing in it. Right. Yeah. yeah, one little thing. Well, one detail. Yeah. <laughs> one detail that I was reading uh, today. Because I read today, uh, before I chose the verse, the previous verse. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so this, how is the situation? And uh, Ananta Das Babaji in the commentary says that this Leela includes the chance to understand 
how the chastisement uh, is mercy. Because chastisement, when the disciple, in the case, chastisement goes with the guru, but he also uh, quotes the this incident between Advaita Acharya and Guranga Mahaprabhu, where Advaita Acharya uh, did not want such a you know a respect from Guranga. He wanted to get some intimacy, so he didn't know what to do anymore. He was desperate because Guranga was respecting him so much that he started preaching in personalism. Not so and many people went because you know he was famous so when Goranga heard this he went crazy he went there immediately and kicked him and when he kicked him Advaita said ah finally you're giving me some love you know you're showing some real love to me so <clears throat> the same thing may happen with the spiritual master the spiritual master may uh, chastise a disciple, but this is a, uh, it may be very bitter to digest, may be very difficult to digest when the chastisement is big, at least for the disciple. Maybe the spiritual master doesn't know, but for some disciples, it's it's not possible to digest. Sometimes they don't digest it at all, you know. So, but if you digest, the, the, if one disciple digests the chastisement of the guru, of the spiritual master, this is a great chance to receive compassion, compassion, kripa, mercy. Just like Tulsi, she was sitting outside the kunj and she was crying. And Lalita came. And she said, but why are you crying? What's happening to you? And when she asked this, Tulazi cried even more, you know. And then she said, oh, I know why. Because uh, Radharani threw you out because you, I saw the bed. But this is my fault. Come with me. So she took, takes Tulazi by the hand, brings her inside the kunja, and rebukes Radharani. <laughs> Lalita can do that. <laughs> so oh, she's a general. So she, she rebukes her and says, Why did you do this? She has no fault. I saw this. I am looking. I want to find something like this. And I found it. And now you're rebuking her. She has no fault. If you want to do punish someone, then throw me out of the kunja. Then uh, Radharani, of course, who loves. Tulasi very much gives a very <laughs> merciful, compassionate look to Tulasi, and uh, it is love again, Anurag. So, yes. One one thing I want to say about Advaita. You see, what is Advaita? Dvaita and Advaita. Dvaita means two, and Advaita means my word. Yes. When Advaita play uh, Prema Avatar, mm. you see this is the thing. <coughs> Advaita is praying that now is no way for me. My Advaita philosophy is not helping. Now, prayer has to appear. Then some change can possible. Then Mahaprabhu appears. This is the part time. Right? Yes. Miss Ad Advaita think that I will not do Advaita philosophy, not preaching. I will also preach about Prema philosophy. Only love. Prema Avatar, I invite. And Mahaprabhu comes. 
And to make angry to Chaitanya, there was no fear. <laughs> he came to his original position to his start preaching on Advaita. <laughs> to take something once he had taken. Then he angry, why call me? If you have to do this, why you call me useless? I fight with you or what? <laughs> this was the first time yeah. that changed. Actually, in Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is said that when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who kicked uh, Advaita, Advaita started jumping in ecstasy and dancing, happy. and he was so happy that he got kicked by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <laughs> and this is also a state. Only Prem can kick to Advaita. <laughs> oh, Jai Ho! Jai Ho! Prema, Prema Avatar can kick to Advaita. Jai Ho! Prema has so much power. Mm -hmm. Nada has so much power. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going to say that. <laughs> Why can't you give just a little one? <laughs> yeah, very sweet. And uh, one thing about this uh, relationship, Lada, Larita, and Manjari. Yes. If we are very strong, like uh, Advaita, we don't need associate, we can jump. Yeah. But we are very small and many times happen, um, maybe anyone already experienced, especially I got many experience these things. <laughs> At that time, who can help me? Gurudev cannot help. Senior devotee or Lasika Vaishnava always support me. Without association, I cannot uh, understand this. That's why only the two, three persons, this associate can help. This time, so Larita get angry with Trashi Manjari, then Larita can and understand, and Larita takes us to Rada. That's why I'm very thankful for this uh, associate. Without association, we cannot get Rada. Jai Shri Rada. Jai Shri Rada.